Uh, morning, that's Raving. Hey. There's uh, Greg Gord. Yeah. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. There's uh, Seabass. Yeah. We've got Sammy. Good morning. There's Bort. There's Caroline. Morgan's here. Our associate producer, Vaughn. Our video producer. Phones are open for you at 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text, 22987. Of course, find us and follow us on all the social platforms at The Woody Show. How's everybody feeling? All good? Feeling yeah. good. Feeling all right. What's new? What's happening? What's fun? I feel like time is going backwards. <laughs> yeah. Time's going it's backwards. It's so weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like, just, it's only Wednesday? Like, can you believe that? Oh, the, like, like, I can't believe it. It feels yeah. like it should be Wednesday two weeks from now. That's uh, how slow this week uh, has started. Uh, is that because the holidays are coming up? And Possibly. Like, maybe we got some time off you're looking forward to? Mm. Maybe. Or? Maybe I'm just too excited to be yeah. off and I just can't get there. That's what it's happens. It's like going through molasses. I'm I thought really. maybe it's time to bring back the paper chain. You know how I used to oh, do a God. paper you chain? That oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't remember, Grandma. What is that? So yeah. a paper chain is like... It's time you, to bring it back. You get uh, construction paper. You cut it in the strips. You make like a link, like mm-hmm. a link thing out of out of the construction paper strips like mm-hmm. this, Seabass. Right. And every day you come in, it's like an advent calendar. Right. And you yep. tear yep. one off and the link of... Just gets things shorter, gets shorter and shorter. Physically and shorter. see how much closer you are. To time off. Ravy, do Can't it. you just have, I can think the uh, modern version of that, Ravy, is just an app on your phone, like a countdown. But d- wouldn't it be it's nice to just turn to your head it. to the left and see a visual representation of how many shows <laughs> you have left till vacation? Rip. They she hates won. it that much here? Not at all, it but it's down. like, yes. Why does that got to be? It, the... <laughs> why do I have to hate my job to be looking forward to vacation? <laughs> right. I mean, where are you going? Just to visit family and stuff. Okay, that's yeah. fun. I mean, who's look forward to time off? Exactly. Yeah, menace. It's like Greg Why says are you all the time. Like, me down? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Greg says all the time, like who doesn't like money? Are you right? Yeah. Like, oh well, you like money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This you guy can, hates you it. You can still enjoy your job, yeah. but look forward to vacation. Yeah. yeah. True. True. I do want to talk about though really quickly this funny phone call I got from my mom. I told you about it, Woody. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so my <laughs> mom, my mom listens to the podcast, and so she was listening to the podcast last week, and she called me. Quite concerned about. She said, "Renee, I hate it when she uses my name like that." <laughs> Renee, you know it's serious, right? I'm very concerned about your relationship with Woody. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You've been friends for 30 years, and I'm very worried. I'm like, what are you talking what about? about? What? Like, about you guys what? used to hook up back in the day. <laughs> yeah, you guys used to do it. Where's the sexual tension? And she, f- she said she felt like you and I were in conflict last week and we were arguing too much mm. and she's con- uh, she was very concerned that it bled over into mm. real life and like show arguing <laughs> about things that we're talking about uh-huh that's adorable and, <laughs> and that led her to a concerned phone call to make sure our friendship was fine <laughs> I'm, I'm mm. like, Mom, what were we even arguing about? <laughs> yeah, Rebbie texted me. I was trying to think of like what it could have been. Uh, it was just the show. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's weird. I'm like, Mom, I don't know, everything's anything, fine. Anything stand out that no. I can remember? No. 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 Like just, she gets mad at me when I joke about like, oh, well, Rebbie's going to go out and get her concealed carry. Sure. Or, oh, you yeah. know, she does get like irritated by that. Mm-hmm. Or the other thing I thought of is like she was, um, she was all worked up about, um, what was it? Oh, burning books or something. It's like, oh, right. 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 Yeah. That's but why I, people don't retire in Florida anymore. Because <laughs> of the book Because the, the people are yeah. insane down there. <laughs> sure. But that wouldn't have even been something my mom even heard. Uh, so yeah, it was true. like, it was older. Not, yeah, I don't know. I could not figure out what it was. But God. I Did anybody else's parents listen to the show? I put her mind no. at ease. No. No. God. Yeah. Thank oh, she God. listens every day. I think yeah. there's secret li- listening amongst parts of my family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my mom, from time to time, like if she's in the car, you know, driving, she doesn't make up. I don't think she makes a point to listen to it. Uh, I think my dad and my stepmom probably listen the most, but I don't even think they listen all the time. I think other members of the family, like I got my one uncle, he listens all the time. But I'm talking about just like moms and dads. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, my mom's dedicated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe that's the reason that Ravy doesn't really share oh, that could a be. lot. Yeah. <laughs> like that's in yeah. the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah she knows her mom's there, so you know she's not going to talk about like some you know dirty whore yeah. weekend that she had or something. You know, yeah. I don't want to hear it from my mom. That is true, <laughs> but it the, she doesn't really bring up any show stuff. Like she's never brought up 
you once picked up a guy at the hospital after a stabbing? And we've brought that up on the air countless well, times. Right. Well, I mean, how many? Uh... <laughs> that was only the one time. Right. I mean, but like, how do you even bring that up? Yeah. Would she say something to you about that? She, she did know about it? I don't, well, she does know she about knows. it. But she's never she's brought never it up. She's never said anything? I, mean what, is she, I yeah. mean, what is there to say? Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> <laughs> my parents certainly don't. Yeah. No. Mine don't listen, thank God. No. Do the your parents thing- know how to listen? Uh, they wouldn't know how to podcast. That's <laughs> pretty your, pa- your parents practice Gregory. driving to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that's kind of irritating, though, like, I don't think my mom's friends listen, but, like, they follow stuff online, and then it's like a game of telephone. Whatever version they see online mm-hmm. is, like, different. Yeah. And then it gets back to my mom, and then so it's a completely different story. Oh, then okay. I have to explain things. Because, like, my mom doesn't, do any social media or anything like yeah. that she just listens to the podcast yeah, people ask me that from time to time like does your wife listen your parents or whoever family members listen like how do you explain or like what do you, like what do you tell them with what i don't tell them anything you know it's like this is my job this is what i do i learned that lesson a long time ago i've been doing this long enough i think i told you um years and years ago my first wife before we were even married she would get mad if i would put like uh girls That's on the right. air like female callers so dumb. You're flirting with. I'm like, I had them on the air about a question, or they, you know, I put the request on the air. You're flirting with it. Get the f out of here. I don't want you putting women on the air anymore. And I go, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> idiot. I was like 20 years old, and I and I didn't want the fight or whatever. Sure. And then I got about six months into that, and I go, what? A, I was. I remember where I was sitting at work, sitting kind of like where I am right now, behind all the controls and stuff. I go, what am I doing? Like, I just had this great phone call that would have been an awesome phone call on the air or whatever, and I didn't record it because it was a female. All flirty. And it would, uh-huh. and it would, no, it was just like, hey, what, so what are you guys up? Stupid, like when you're a radio DJ playing music, you know, mm-hmm. like, hey, what are you guys up to tonight? All right, hey, tell oh, us where the party hey. is. Hey, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> LFG to the party. <laughs> right. You know, that kind of crap. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I didn't air it all because, you know, my girlfriend at the time, mm-hmm. didn't like it. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this. So that's why I went I went back and I told her, like, look, this is my job. This is what I do. I, I can't. It's hard to yeah. stifle yourself in the moment and then you're yeah. trying to edit yourself. Yeah. Gave her and the then, Godfather talk. And then, um, but I'm, and then when you, it comes to parents, what? Didn't you meet her because she was a listener? No, her roommate was a listener. Um, and the roommate didn't have the call. Oh, the roommate. This is the one I just told the story about where we walked in after having dinner one time and she was having some kind of competition to see, oh. see if she can make three guys finish within a certain amount of time. <laughs> right. That was the person who was listening who had called in or whatever. Okay. I was so pissed. she knows that whores listen. Right. Yeah. It was one of those. So, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was on. I, I, this job sucked. It was. I was working six days a week. From seven to midnight. I'm a young guy living in a place that I didn't know anybody. Mm. And uh, so I had to be on all the times when people would be able to socialize and go out and meet people or have fun. Like I was like at the radio station. So I got pissed one week because I just tried to get off, um, you know, that Saturday night shift. Uh, every once in a while, I'm like, can I have a like a little bit of a life at once some point? Once a month, maybe. Once, a, well, yeah, right. And so I was like, uh, Woody, saw this guy. You guys, yeah. you guys know this dude, Mark. Mark, yep. yeah, Mark. Woody, sorry, but you know, you're the um, you're the night guy, and you know, like, I'm like, oh. right. yep, yep. yeah, no, I don't have to, so no. Yeah, so uh, so I'm like, all right, fine. So the guy who was uh, you know, um, kind of like my intern or whatever at the time, I just went on the air. I go, you know what? If I can't, I was so I was bitching about the air naturally. Yeah. I go, well, if I can't go out, I said. Here's where the station is. Doors open. Come on in. We invited yeah. anybody who was listening Just who wanted to come, to come down. There was food. There was mm-hmm. drugs. There were naked chicks. There were all kinds of stuff. Anything and everything that you can imagine that was it, it was like a, it was an open house party. Mm-hmm. And Literally. it was a Saturday. Yeah, and people were just showing up anyway. So this uh, this girl, mm-hmm. the roommate, she uh, she wanted to come down, but she didn't have a car, of course. <laughs> She's a dirty whore. <laughs> dirty and, whores rarely have and a so car. So she, she talked to her roommate, who ended up being my future wife, into driving her down. Ah, my future okay. wife kind of stood in the back of the room, like just ignoring everybody for the longest time. And like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, and so mm-hmm. uh, we just struck up a conversation. But that's how that whole, whole well, thing happened. That, and that pr- I've heard thousands of these stories. Well, not thousands, mm-hmm. but dozens. You never marry a fan. Well, yeah. I've Every radio person I know who's done that has divorced. Yeah. Everyone. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, she wasn't. I, that's the thing. Like she wasn't like a fan. She was the drive. She was like yeah. the designated driver. Fan enough. She was not participating mm-hmm. in like anything. <laughs> I don't even think she had a slice of the pizza. Pizza delivery drivers were bringing other people's orders down. Wow. It was it was crazy. We had beer, 
all kinds, you name it, the, every kind of liquor you can think of. Let's and, do that again. Dude, I know. Let's do yeah. it now. Easily there were 300 people packed into this. <laughs> Where did those days go? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, oh, good old yeah. days. And you know what's crazy? The program director loved it. Yeah. Okay, good. They were going through people's desks. <laughs> and I literally just had the door of the radio station just propped open. Like, hey, here's yeah. the address. We Come on down. We can do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, times are different now. Uh, now we get mega fired. But that's what these TikTok kids do. There's like yeah. 5,000 people show up in Times Square. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> they riot. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's, that's great for they them. People still do that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, if we dance, it's just a flash mob. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> Big deal. That's one of those things, like, when I think about it now, I go, I can't believe I actually did that. Yeah. What was yeah. I thinking? And you well, didn't those, get fired. Oh, those yeah. are also the days, fired. even when you had free time, it was all you wanted to do was be at work. You yeah. Know? Like, like, I just never left. One guy, Same. I mean, this one guy like projectile vomited <laughs> all over the, the like the office area. Sounds like Woody used to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Cool. Like after the, because our radio station was right by all the nightclubs, like every Friday, Saturday night, we just bring a bunch of people from the club back to the radio station. Hell yeah. They were like hooking up in the bathroom. We nicknamed oh, one yeah. of our friends, Tony, the bathroom bandit, because he was like <laughs> yeah. having sex in the bathroom with some club chick. And we were just like, <laughs> just, like drinking and stuff. It yeah, was good fun, times. man. Yeah, good times. Every Friday, Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.